Okay, there's no reason this freaking mic adapter should be coming off when the gut dang battery pack is staying on. Battery pack weighs a frig lot more and it's using the same hook and loop Velcro, so hopefully my camera will stay on this time. dude on the lawnmower when I first bought this bike for my son. I was riding it up the road here. You know, that bike doesn't kick start. You gotta jump and push start it. And uh, and it was and it was prone to die sometimes because it had a, had a it's got a gunked up carb or something. So I was riding up the road here. And it died right around with that yard where that dude was mowing the lawn. And uh, and so I he's got kind of a hilly shoulder. And so I used it to get a jump start. Yeah, I used it to run up the hill and then run down and, and jump on the bike and bump start it. And uh, and then rode up the road a little bit and then turn around and bring it back to the house before it died again. And he comes pulling up on the side by side real quick and gets real pissed off. And is like uh, trying to talk to me. And of course I got my I got my bike running and it's a lot louder than this one, so I can barely hear him. And he's hollering out about how I am not to ride on his property. Don't ride on my property! And I have to ask him to repeat himself like three times before I can finally make out what he's saying. And uh, when I do, and he's like, this is, you know, don't, be, don't be riding on my property, don't be riding on my grass. I was like, this ain't your grass, dude. Saint your grass, it belongs to the county. Forty feet from center line on both sides of the road is county property in Georgia. Or at least in my county. And so I basically made it a point ever since then, not so much on this bike, because it doesn't tear up the grass as much. But I made a point every time I rode that CRF up the road and back, I'd take it through his shoulder and be like in second gear so I could just wind the shit out of it. And, uh, and trigger his ass. Old city boy bought him place, a place in the country. Still thinks he got city limit laws. Like, buddy, it's not how we do it in the country. And you don't own the sidewalk, and you don't own the grass on the other side of the sidewalk in most cities either. Like lots of lots of lots of houses in towns, at least houses I've lived in, they'll have a sidewalk in front of the house, but then sometimes that sidewalk strip is between the front lawn at a large strip of grass on the side of the road. Well, it's the homeowners or the renters or the landlord's responsibility to maintain that grass, to maintain that strip between the sidewalk and the road, as well as your own yard. But nonetheless, the property literally belongs to the township or the city or the county accordingly.
It's a funny looking cow. Black butt, black chest and head, white middle. That's why if nothing else, I need to practice wheelies. So then when I accidentally do them like that, I have some better muscle memory because I just freak out when it happens. When I'm not expecting to do a wheelie and I pull one, oh, I just freak out. I throw my legs in the air, try to pull myself forward on the bike. Like I need to practice wheelies and, 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 and get familiar with covering this brake right here. familiar with covering this foot brake so that I can uh, I can give herself a taparoni and bring myself back down when that shit happens. Because I was not expecting that. It's been a long time since I've come this way. I don't think the road was paved last time. Oh, look how dry the little Boggy, boggy marsh is pretty dry. It's been a while since we had some good rain, you know, it's winter time. It doesn't rain like that in the winter time. But it does get 76 degrees apparently. I don't think it's quite that warm. They said it's going to get 76 today. I think we're probably at about 68 or 70. But with the cloud cover, it makes it a little bit cooler, right? I got the ND16 filter on the GoPro today. So hopefully that's giving us a pretty good picture. This is the only camera I, brought, I got on my helmet today. I didn't, I didn't latch. Oh, I should definitely, definitely screw that on a little bit. Oh, that's right. This is where the church is. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been this way. I'm like, I was thinking there was a church back at that last crossroads. I thought there was a church over here, but no, here it is. Here's our church. Winter grass, right? Oh, little cemetery road. Not very old. Doesn't look like too many old plots in this one. A few over that way, maybe. But you know, I've become superstitious like I used to be when I had my camera everywhere in my car. Seems like every time I didn't have the camera on, that's when something happened. Well, now I feel like I'm gonna jinx myself and the something that's, that's potentially gonna happen is gonna be something bad. And I'm on a motorcycle and I don't want something bad to happen. You know, something bad being something that would be good for footage, but might not necessarily good for me. Some tracks burning here in front of the road. Somebody's been getting their getting their tire roast on. I don't know how much of a tire roast it is on gravelly dirt roads, but they're spin outs anyway. Getting their spin outs. Oh you know what? I think I've been on trails. Yeah, I've been on trails back here before. 
can't do it now though. I mean, it's hunting season. You gotta be an idiot in my opinion to shoot. Well, I say that, I actually did some research. I always thought hunting was allowed in the winter primarily in the cold months. I'd always heard it's because of ticks. Um, yeah, I'd always heard it was because of ticks, but you only, <laughs> that you only hunted in the cold months. But no, it's just primarily due to when animals mate and to regulate the hunting population and make sure, you know, it's as healthy as it needs to be. It has very, very little to do with Lyme disease and tick and infestation. So there you go. I mean, apparently you always wanna, even in the winter, you wanna take precaution, apparently, and make sure you're not getting a, make sure your meat isn't diseased. There's ways to inspect the meat when you're starting to cut into it, judge it upon the, if there's a, like a white discoloration, I, I believe, if that was correct, then it's that's diseased meat. There are probably other signs and symptoms as well. But yeah. So I take it back. I guess you can shoot a deer on a 76 degree degree day, 76 degree day, if it's legal. Again, probably not 76 today though. Oh, a feller could run right off the road in some of these curves if he weren't paying attention. If I had some talent, I could jump some of these, some of these culverts that meet the driveway, run along in the shoulder, get some fat air. Yeah, that is so inviting. There are no no trespassing signs. But that's really four wheel riding. I get tired of cleaning out all the freaking grass blades and leaves and shit that get accumulated all in spots in my motorcycle that never, never found their way to stay on my four wheeler. I am super far from home.